Stefan Baston was born to play. He was graceful yet powerful, quick on the turn and supreme in the air. Like so many of Holland's great stars, the Marco van Basten story began at Ajax. He joined them as an 18-year-old when the famous club was struggling to regain the glory days of the 1970s, an era when Johan Cruyff set the standard with three successive European Cup wins. In 1986, he was the top marksman in Europe, winning the European Golden Boot Award. With Van Basten leading their attack, Ajax lifted two Dutch championships, two Dutch Cups and the European Cup Winners' Cup. In just 143 games, he scored 128 league goals, an unprecedented strike rate. But his instinctive brilliance was undermined by a vulnerability to injury that was to plague him and ultimately hamper his career. After rescuing AC Milan from liquidation, media magnate Silvio Berlusconi set about trying to revive the club's fortunes. In 1987, he spent some of his £20 million investment on securing Van Basten. Results came quickly as Milan won the Scudetto for the first time in nine years. However, they did it without much help from Van Basten, as an ongoing ankle injury flared again and restricted him to only 11 games. The Dutch side of the 1970s was regarded as the world's best, but it had only two losing World Cup finals to show for its supreme talent. Failed to qualify in 1982 and 1986, a new generation of players, including Marco van Basten, Wood Fullert, and Frank Reichardt, emerged. Against the background of thwarted ambitions and desperate disappointment, they headed to the European Championships of 1988. Van Basten was in superb form. Against England in the quarterfinals, he struck a magnificent hat trick, then grabbed a last guard winner two minutes from time to eliminate post West Germany in the semi finals. Leading into the final against the Soviet Union, the expectation was immense that a nation's dream was about to be fulfilled. To play under that burden is an enormous strain, but no one told Marco Van Basten. lucky that uh, when I played in Milan we had a very very good selection few good Italian players and a few good Dutch players and it was just uh, all it came all together you know just, uh, that's that's the reason why we I think uh, we won a lot because we had good defensive players like Baresi and Maldini Tassotti and big stars good players and also mentally they, they were strong they just they were always uh, willing of winning a game, even against big ones or, or small ones. Marco van Basten's last competitive game was in the 1993 European Cup, when Milan lost to Marseille. After spending the next two years trying to overcome his injuries, he announced his retirement in August 1995. On reflection, his career was outstanding. Yeah, in 89, he was named European Footballer of the Year and received the award for a third time two years later. The same year, he was voted as FIFA's World Player of the Year. In five seasons with Milan, from Boston scored 90 goals and inspired him to win two European Cups and three Italian titles, twice becoming the leading marksman in Serie A. The brilliant striker played for Holland on 58 occasions, scored 24 goals and won the European Championship. Van Basten returned to football as a specialist coach to his first club in Ajax. The game was to gain the experience needed to conduct a high-class team. 
condition that will be realised far sooner than expected. Following the resignation of national coach Dick Advocaat when the Netherlands bowed out of Euro 2004, the Dutch Football Federation turned to Marco van Basten as the man to guide their team through the World Cup 2006. Yeah. While coming as a surprise to the now 39-year-old, Van Basten couldn't pass up the challenge. The moment the KNVB contacted me, I took it very seriously. John was very enthusiastic about it, but I was more reserved. Uh, maar uiteindelijk na een paar uh, goede gesprekken hadden we toch zoiets van, het is eigenlijk een te mooie uitdaging, WK in Duitsland, een jonge, interessante groep, een gemotiveerde groep, en ik denk ook uh, dat die jongens in principe uh, nog veel willen winnen, dat ook wel een, uh, een leuk uh, feit vinden dat wij voor die groep komen te staan. Marco, 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 Now, committing to lead his native national team as a coach, the single-mindedness that Marco van Basten was famous for as a player became of great benefit to his new charges in the Netherlands. Although the side didn't go as far as many hoped at World Cup 2006, losing to Portugal in the round of 16, it had been seen that some of the grace, skill and explosive power Marco van Basten showed throughout his playing days lived on to his team and would do so for some time to come.